What's something you're glad your friend introduced you to? Themselves. Read it on second thought, I'm not so sure I'm happy about it. A friend of mine accidentally introduced me to the Hitachi magic wand when I was helping her move. And it dropped out of one of the boxes. She was entirely nonplussed. I think she laughed and said, My baby. Single quote. I was somewhat of a prude at the time and was suitably scandalized at her being so open about having sex toys, especially the kind that you had to actually plug in like a fucking kitchen appliance. Yeah, that lasted all of 30 seconds after I bought one for myself on her later recommendation. Asterisk who boy? Asterisk. My wife. 37 years ago. I have a similar one. His wife. My girlfriend and his wife are now really good friends and I love the fact we can do things as a group of four. To clarify, I mean my friend's wife, not ops. I tell people all the time the best thing I got out of my 4.5 years. $30,000 business and economics degree was when my friend gave me a John Mayer CD. Back in 2002. Literally the reason I started playing guitar. Now it's my career. D&D. I would have never played otherwise and it's so much fun. Same. For years, years my friend from university suggested we play D&D during a weekend. Every time, I shot him down, pretending to be an orc or an elf or whatever the fuck wasn't my idea of a good time. Then a couple of years ago someone I was dating introduced me to it. And it was dope. Kill some goblins. Eat some cheese. Drink some beers. I'm not sure if it was the fact that I was older or the fact that I'd finally got over myself a little bit, but I got way into it. Like, way into it, like, a file of notes thicker than some novels into it. I finally got a chance to DM for the friend who'd kept pushing it all those years ago, we're at opposite ends of the country now, and it was incredibly fun. Even with a 10,000 watt I told you so grin he had the whole time. The fact that you can cook your eggs and your noodles while you're boiling them is your My new technique is to undercook the noodles. Crack the eggs into the pot. Bring to high boil for a second. Take off heat. Cover and let sit for 3 to 3.5 minutes. Perfection every time. How do you do it? Not off but my parents do the same thing. Tastes especially nice with instant ramen. New music. It's always hard for me to figure out what I like and they help give me so much from the experiences I got out of it. Buying better clothes. I used to buy everything at Goodwill even though I saved up enough money to spend it. Nothing matched and it didn't fit properly. Eventually my friend took me out, told me to take some pride in my looks, and bought me new clothes. Looking back, I look like the definition of a poor virgin. Thanks A to Monsieur, Harry Potter, Percy Jackson. They introduced me to these books and I have now became obsessed with the Monsieur best thing they did after I met the Monsieur. Rick Reardon just announced a new TV series in the works with Disney. He'll be heavily involved, I'm hopeful. Settlers of Catan. My sister is notorious for buying people gifts they won't like, just to try and impose her own interests on other people. This time it actually worked. My husband and I have been playing a lot during the lockdown. Raw climbing. It's become my favorite form of exercise not to mention how fun it is. Anime, was finally able to grow out a beard but for some reason it's just growing around my neck. Lick some of that Doritos dust off your fingers. And Febreze your mom's basement. It smells like fart. Honestly to myself because I'm myself when in front of him and I wouldn't have discovered myself if he wasn't my friend. Brooklyn 9999 good food. I used to eat pretty much anything. A friend introduced me to good cooking 20 years ago and I never looked back. Sometimes I miss being able to power down ketchup and ground beef sloppy joes and enjoy them. Though, marijuana, bloodborne, username checks out. I hope yours doesn't. Pokemon. Reddit. Ween. She just started jerking the ween. She touched my tutor. He introduced me to his closest friends, all really great people. Now we all have good times together and share so many things of mutual interest it's really opened. 
of my world in a way I hadn't previously thought possible. Stardew Valley. It changed my perspective on a lot of things surprisingly. Like turning children eye to doves. It can be productive. Lemon Demon, Castlevania. Is it pronounced Lemon Demon, or Lemon Diamond? It's pronounced Lemon Demon. Duh. Lemon Demon but I very much like to pronounce it Lemon Diamond and no one can stop me, not even God. Greater than Lemon Demon. Castlevania. Minecraft in my case. I went years without playing it. Then I bought a copy tilde a month ago because quarantine. The game itself is currently, at the very least, every bit as good as I remember it having been. There are more mods than anyone could reasonably ask for. And the snapshots for the next release make it look like they're planning on doubling the amount of content they currently have right off the bat. This game has already blown Tetris out of the water with respect to number of copies sold. And that's according to last year's sales figures. I can only imagine this year's numbers will be so high that they're functionally meaningless. And they've earned that. If you want my personal opinion, by definition, Minecraft is the single greatest video game ever published to date. Minecraft is the best game. You're right and you should say it. Once Notch stopped developing it it truly flourished. I have worlds I've spent over 100 hours working on and no shame. I started playing it again about two years ago and it's changed me. They've done so much. And I'm always learning new things about it. Metallica. Not putting sugar in my coffee. How many teaspoons were you adding at that point? I've come to love having my coffee and tea sweet. I simply find it quite unpleasant now without any sugar. Two teaspoons. At first, I hated it without sugar. My friend told me to try it for a month and you'll never go back. She was right. Sugar in coffee tastes terrible to me now. A month. Yikes. Haha, <laughs> I guess it, it depends quite a lot on the quality of the coffee too. We had a little coffee maker at my old office that took Nespresso pods. The coffee that came out was really good. Didn't need sweetening. And I don't even like coffee. Instant coffee is usually pretty blarg without half a tub of sugar in it. It's so much less smooth and more bitter taste. Rick and Morty. K-pop and Japanese city. I like listening to it when I work out. Got down to 250. Was at 295. Red Velvet and Girls Generation in particular. Tatsuro Yamashita. Junko Yamaguchi, and Maria Takeuchi, love Red Velvet's Psycho song. Boku no Pico, a ah, man of culture. I should not have Google searched that. FBI open up. And somebody is jerking off to that. Panic at the Disco, good mythical morning on YouTube. You know what time it is. Weed, there is a whole weed etiquette out there on introducing someone to marijuana. Greater than 1.1 don't pressure them. Greater than 1.2 don't keep them smoking. Greater than 1.3 don't make fun of them. Greater than 2 things you should do. Greater than 2.1 bring snacks and drinks. Greater than 2.2 pick a comfortable setting. Greater than 2.3 keep it relaxed. Greater than 2.4 throw on some tunes or a film. Greater than 2.5 knowledge is power. Explain. Harry Potter. I was in my 20s when the series was released. I figured that it was some dumb kid's books. He bought me the first four books. When I finally got around to reading them, I was hooked. My enjoyment has outlasted the friendship. I hope that he's doing well. I love dive bars. I used to go to them and read. I was reading the fourth book in a biker bar in northern Minnesota. There was a group of a dozen bikers. All wearing the same vest the tall guy in the middle yelled over at me. Hey, what are you reading? Quote. I yelled back. Him. Did you get to the part where? Spoilers redacted. And that is how I had a 15 minute conversation in a biker bar about Harry Potter. And received several free beers. I was a teen when the first Harry Potter movie came out and I'd never heard of the books. I went to the movies with a friend who insisted on watching Harry Potter. I didn't want to see it thinking it was some dumb movie for little kids but she convinced me and I ended up loving it.
As soon as we got home I borrowed the first four books from her little sister and I've been a Potterhead ever since. My girlfriend. Though to be honest, I'd probably try to meet her regardless of if I had someone to make the introduction. Sleep. Seriously. I stayed up all night. Had shitty sleep hygiene and poor mental health. We lived together for six months and she helped me get on a sleep routine. Changed my life. Her boobs. Weed. EDM. Raves. Star W-A-R-S-S-S-S. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. U.S. Office. Holy God that show is fantastic. Every character is well written and the dynamics between the characters is brilliant. Silas Sybin. Harry Styles. His music and overall persona have helped a lot with me learning to be kind to myself. Also Parks and Rec because it ended up being one of my favorite shows of all time. The Smashing Pumpkins. Before that my taste in music and what I listened to was wholly dictated by my brother and his. Elitis Monsieur my friend really opened my mind and I feel like when I first heard today, it was when I came of age. It really was the greatest day. My husband, that was over 20 years ago. Podcasts. I had listened to a few episodes of a metal show on my Zoom HD years ago and thought the format was neat. Like radio on demand. It wasn't until my friend recommended checking out a history podcast on Spotify years later that I really got into it. Now I listen to them daily. Probably more than music. My friend introduced me to the definition of narcissistic personality disorder. I was going through a lot with my family and constantly being gaslighted. She sent me articles all about it and I never felt more relieved to know I wasn't insane and I was actually being severally manipulated. Harry Potter. I feel like everything I like was introduced. I'm shit at discovering things on my own. But I'll say sushi. Leslie Sansone's walk at home workout. Super cheesy. I know. But it got me into other fitness and take my life back in control after years of low self-esteem. Depression and emotional eating. Coffee. Because of my good friend, I now have another addiction to my collection. DND. After initially disliking it after my first session, I'm so glad I gave it another go. It's really helped me start getting creative with things again. Plus it's keeping us busy during quarantine. Our group just finished a campaign I joined on the tail end of and I'm really excited to be part of. The new long-term campaign from the very beginning. Joe Rogan. Minecraft. I was mid-twenties and they spent years trying to get me to play but I thought it was a kid's game. I finally played one day and loved it so much that I spent the next four years way more into it than they ever were. RuPaul's Drag Race. I did not understand the appeal but once I sat down to watch it, I was hooked. Stephen King's books. He now is my favorite author by far. Although I had been a lifelong Stephen King fan, I had always avoided the Dark Tower series. A friend kept pushing me on them, insisting I would love the Monsieur Stephen King Cowboys. No thanks. Finally he bought me the first four in a paperback gift set. Series is now one of my favorite reads of all time. I can't thank him enough for insisting. Ka at work. Great series. I've been on book 4.5 for too long though. Got distracted by that lame thing called college. Hope to start it up again and finish it soon now that I've graduated. Anime. Friends? I think Chandler had a cell phone once. Pokemon. Weed. Reddit. Doctor Who. Weed Man. Final Fantasy. My Hero Academia and Demon Slayer. Before meeting my friend, I've never watched anime. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Psychedelics. I love the Monsieur. Anal. Unreal Tournament. Greta Van Fleet. I fucking love that band. Considering how much Led Zeppelin has stolen from other artists it's only fitting that someone finally made a band that got big solely by ripping off Led Zeppelin. Fresh Grounded Pepper on Pizza. EDM probably. And Roller Coasters. I don't get out much but these things make me want to get out of my comfort zone and do things. I have a hard time expressing myself. 
and think that I ought to go to a DM show and learn how to just enjoy music. I want to go on roller coasters because I am tired of my life. And I never take chances. And it would be good for me to do something even mildly exciting. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.